you guys for my game today. I want to talk about Christmas in Lithuania. And fair warning, I do not speak, speak Lithuanian at all. So, there's the part where how they tell you to say Merry Happy Christmas that I am going to skip. There are some at least going to try and do attempt. So, let's get on with it. At Christmas time in Lithuania, it is very cold. Normally, it was snow and ice on the ground. Christmas Eve, Kukos, I believe, is a more important day than Christmas Day. Kukos is also the name of the big Christmas Eve meal, which families have together during the evening of Christmas Eve. Kukos is also the last day of Advent, so it is more important and special. But before the meal can be eaten, lots of preparations have to take place. The whole house is cleaned, the bedding is changed, and everyone washes and puts on clean clothes ready for the meal. Many, many, many Lithuanians used to go to the bathhouse to be clean before the meal. Some people not being clean help to protect them from evil or diseases during the coming year. During Christmas Eve, working men would put away their tools and clean the cattle pens and farm yards, etc. Many people fast during the day. The Kukas meal also shouldn't contain any meat. Shah's traditional decoration it is normally spread on the table top and covered with clean white tablecloth. The table is then decorated with candles and a small small branches or twigs from a fir tree. The show reminds people of the baby Jesus laying in the manger. A superstition says that if you don't pull a piece of straw from under the tablecloth and it's long wait, sorry. A superstition says that if you pull a piece of straw from under the tablecloth and it's long, you'll have a long life. But if it's short, you will have a short life. And a thick straw means a rich and happy life. Often, an extra place is set for a family member who can't come to the meal or if a family member has died during the past year. Sometimes a candle is lit to remember family members who died. Some people believe that the dead family members can come and join them around the table. table. People who are going to be alone on Christmas Eve are also invited to meal. At the center of the table is a plate of Christmas wafers. One wafer for each person at the meal. In some parts of Lithuania, the wafers are wait, the wafers have the scene of the birth of Jesus on them. The meal starts when the first stars can be seen in the night sky. If it is cloudy, cloudy, the head of the house decides when the meal will start. The wafers are usually to eat. the wafers are offered to each person at the table, and Christmas greetings are exchanged. Sometimes an apple is also kept, and to as many people people at the meal and is shared. This remembers the apple eaten in the Garden of Eden. The Kukas meal normally has 12 dishes, one for each of Jesus' followers. Now the dishes contain meat and same, some people also don't have milk or eggs in them. Traditional popular dishes include fish, often herring, kukula, kukulai, small sweet pastries, normally soaked in poppy milk, Casalios, a drink made from cranberries. Dried fruit soup, beet soup, often with mushroom filled dumplings in it. Vegetable salad, mushrooms, boiled or baked potatoes, sauerkraut, a kind of wheat porridge with honey and bread. Normally, water or hemi cider is drunk during meal. Sweet dishes are also often eaten during. Sweet dishes are also often eaten, including kisel. A fruit soup, jelly thickened with potato flour, and stewed fruit compote. At the meal, or possibly between the main and sweet course, there might be a visitor, a visitor from the old man Christmas, Santa Claus, with presents. People also exchange presents between themselves. When the presents have been exchanged, children often go to bed, and adults might go to, out to midnight mass. Um, which the actual translation translates to Shepherd's Mass. Popular Christmas tree decorations in Lithuania are ones made of white paper straw. They are 
are often in the shapes of stars, snowflakes, and other geometric shapes. Nativity crypts are also popular in Lithuania, with very large scenes often being outside churches. The Christmas season lasts until uh, January 6th, the Epiphany, and then tells you how to say Merry Christmas in Lithuania, which I am not even going to try. But yes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you. See ya. Bye.